This is the first video in the T2 Laser Starter Series. In this video, I will cover the basics of loading an image, setting the parameters, and displaying the G-code. OK, so first let's open an image. We can select from JPEG, Bitmap, or PNG. When I click, the original image is displayed, in this case, a red VW bug. It is currently being displayed in grayscale mode. This requires pulse width modulation, which isn't supported on all lasers. We can also select Dithered, which simulates colors using a diffusion pattern. It appears to be gray levels, but is actually only black and white dots, and will work on any system. The last conversion mode is black and white. This is ideal for clip art or logos. We will use grayscale mode for this image. The next option is the engraving mode, we can select horizontal or diagonal. Horizontal is usually the faster option, but can sometimes show visible banding, especially on wood grain. In that case, diagonal may be the better choice. Next, we will set the laser parameters. Feed rate or speed. 1000 is a good starting point, but this will depend on your material and the laser power. Now the laser power. 0 to 255 are the defaults. You may need to adjust these to compensate for your machine or the material being engraved. Next is resolution, which sets the level of detail. A 0.2 mm step size gives you 5 scans per millimeter. If you have a lot of fine detail, you may want to use 0.1 or 10 scans per millimeter, which roughly translates to 250 dots per inch. I will leave it at 0.2 for this example. Now we can set the output engraving size. I will enter 100 mm for the width. Since aspect lock is checked, the height is automatically calculated. If we wanted to distort the image, we could uncheck that box and enter the value separately. Now click OK and the image is resized. So I'm happy with that. Now I can either save the G code or send the file to the laser. It asks if I want to generate the code, which I do. Now I have the option to save the G code. I will say no. The G-code is displayed. Just over 56,000 lines, which will take around 14 minutes. I can press the View button to see the simulation, and double check the lower left and upper right extents. Everything looks good. Now we can position the laser to the lower left of the material, set the origin or home position, and start the job. Check future videos for more details. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy using T2 Laser.